Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. I'm Dr. Suparna Jain from Dalatram College, University of Delhi. And in this video, I'll be talking about stages of child development pertaining to three to six year old children and six to eight year old children. And in this video, I'll be focusing on importance of play. So how important play is for these children from three year years of age to eight years of age. And the learning outcomes from this video, if you go thoroughly through it, the first one is that you'll be able to describe the importance of play in the lives of children. Secondly, you'll be able to understand the holistic importance of play on physical, socio-emotional, cognitive and language development of children. Now, we understand that play is important for children, not only for having fun, but play has an, its importance holistically. So here, children are holistically developing when you are letting them play. So play can support learning across physical, social, emotional, cognitive areas of development. It is very important for them to learn to socialize, think, solve problems, become mature and of course have fun when they are indulging into play. So the importance of play is not only from what I am telling you, but there have been, it has been long established by expert educationists. So the first one over here, when I have made these, uh, this, uh, this particular slide here, so Frobel is a German pedagogue and what he said was that play is not a trivial pursuit but a serious occupation for a child. Now what do we mean by that? That as work is to adults, play is to children. So that means that as important work is to us, play is as important to the children. So play is not only to have fun but is, it is helping them grow in every sphere of life. Maria Montessori, an educator, what she said was that free and spontaneous play is an important activity for the development of children. Piaget, a Swiss psychologist known for his work on child development, he said that play consists of responses repeated purely for functional pleasures. That means that when a child is indulging into play, the child is actually practicing what he or she has learned over time. So that is why it's very important that we, we let our children play. So let's see what are the domains that are affected by play when the children indulge into play. The first one is the physical and motor development. We know that this is the age of obesity and processed foods, which is playing with the health and li liveliness of our children. So it becomes even more important for them to play because physical development is affected majorly by their physical movements. So play is helping us or helping the children rather in physical movements in balancing in testing their own limits and through that they are also learning fine motor skills and gross motor skills. Now in this particular picture that's shown to you over here, this, this uh, kid over here is scribbling with the pens, is making something interesting with a sketch pen over here. Now when this child is doing this, he is indulging into play which is also helping the child to refine his fine motor skills. Likewise, when the child is indulging into hopping or skipping and playing uh, simple games with their, with their uh, peer group, what are they doing? They're learning gross motor skills. So that is why it's very important for them to indulge into play, to get physically fit, to learn these skills that are important at this particular stage. So physical development and motor development is coming out of play. Now moving on to the second type of development that is affected by play is socio-emotional development. Now, even the social competence and emotional maturity that children gain is through play. You know, they also tend to foster self-esteem through play. Now, how does that happen? Because when they're playing, they're controlling the environment around them. As a result of which they learn to, uh, uh, you know, they learn that they are important in the environment. They, ha they have control over the environment. And as a result, they are fostering, this is fostering self-esteem in them. Secondly, when they're playing, they also feel new emotions, they explore their feelings and they now understand how to cope with feelings such as happiness, sadness, anger, fear, excitement, frustration, stress and so on. Also, when they play in terms of social emotional development, when they pay, play, they, when they're playing alone or when they're playing with other children, what is happening is that they are learning to be contented and more sociable. So it is providing them with an opportunity to be with themselves when they're playing alone, also to be with others and learning various aspects of social realm when they're playing in a group scenario. So it's very important that we let our children make friends and uh, have a peer group, have a strong peer group at this age so that they learn 
social skills and they also develop emotionally. Now moving on to the third area of or domain of development that is impacted by play it is cognitive development. Now cognitive development as we uh, in the previous video you, mu you must have gone through in that we talked about that how these children are in the pre-operational stage and they learn a lot of cognitive abilities at this time. So how is it happening? It is happening with the, with the help of play. So what happens is when they are interacting with other children around them, they learn essential concepts like counting, they learn about colors, they learn about problem solving. They also learn how to uh, reason and their skill of thinking improves majorly. If you have heard about Sigmund Freud, he once said that when a child is playing, the child is actually behaving like a creative writer. Why? Because the child is actually creating a world of his own when he is playing. Or if he is not creating a world of his own, he, when he is um, uh, working on, his, on the already existing uh, uh, world around him, he is rearranging things in the already existing world which is giving him pleasure or her pleasure. So it's very important for cognitive development of the child that the child indulges into social play or solo play. It's very, very important for cognitive development. Likewise, when we move to the next domain of development that is impacted by play, it is the language development. Now, during play, children learn to use language in different contexts, in a variety of settings with different people, and they have different purpose of using language when they're playing. And even when they indulge into make-believe play, wherein they are playing things like say ghar ghar or teacher teacher and things like that, what are they doing? They are learning to use language from a different person's perspective. So when they become a teacher, they use a different language. When they become a student, they use a different language. So they are learning a lot of language skills when they are playing. Also, because they communicate a lot during play, the real setting communication that they have with their peer groups, they tend to understand words, they learn about syllables, sounds, grammatical structures and all of that. Plus, the concept of pragmatics actually is learned through play because they learn the social um, uh, rules of language when they are interacting with a diverse group of people. That happens only when they are playing. Thus, all in all, we now understand that play is very important for children to develop in all these four domains, that is physical, socio-emotional, cognitive and language. Thus, stimulate, give stimulation to children when they are playing, provide them with toys, provide them with board games, and also provide them with opportunities to go out and play. Because, as I just said, that we have to keep children healthy, not only physically, but also we, help, we have to help them grow in terms of socio-emotional abilities, cognitive and language abilities. Thank you.